for his first win ever. In 2013, Ken Duke became the oldest golfer in 18 years to capture his first career PGA Tour win. Decades in the making, and even more impressive once you know his backstory, literally. While growing up in Arkadelphia, Arkansas, Duke was diagnosed with scoliosis, an abnormal curving of the spine that often looks like the letter C or S. Severe cases can lead to diminished physical mobility, or in Duke's case, restricted lung capacity. I was very short-winded when I was playing a lot of sports, and I didn't know why. We had routine checkups, and the school doctors said, you know, you're, you're back, it you looks like you have scoliosis. So as a teenager, Duke had a 16-inch metal rod surgically inserted into his back to straighten his spine. 1985, February 25th, I'll never forget. It was a scary situation for me, but I had no choice. I needed my life. With the curve cutting into my lungs, I couldn't run and condition like all other kids because I was so short-winded, so I had to have it done. Soon after the procedure, Duke returned to the sport he loved, but he had to change his game, including shortening his backswing. And I slowed everything down because I was scared of hurting my back. I had to bend over on one knee to get the ball out of the hole. I had to do what I had to do. Duke overcame his physical limitations, becoming an All-America at Henderson State University and turned pro in 1994, but bounced between various mini tours and the web.com tour for nearly a decade. I've always fought to the end. I just never give up. That resolve was tested further after finally earning his PGA Tour card for the 04 season. But Duke missed over half his cuts and registered only two top 25 finishes, resulting in a return trip to the web.com tour. I had to do what I had to do to, to support my family, and I had no problem with that. But I knew if I could do the hard work, I could get back to where I should be. Every time you see Duke soon met someone who would aid in that hard work, noted swing coach and five-time PGA Tour winner Bob Toski. I said, hey, is there any chance I can come down and see you? He said, what are you doing tomorrow? So that's how quick it started. He adapted very quickly because he's got great hand-eye coordination. He's got a great pair of hands to play golf with. This is the most important part of your body in playing golf. Under Toski's tutelage, Duke was named Web.com Tour Player of the Year in 2006 and has spent six of the past seven seasons on the PGA Tour, amassing 19 top tens, finishing as high as 22nd in the final FedEx Cup standings. The relationship we have, it's been uh, it's pretty special. It's been going on for a few good years. Their bond strengthened even further in 2013 as Duke joined his teacher by getting his first career PGA Tour victory at the Travelers Championship a feat Toski accomplished 60 years earlier. He won his first one in 1953 at Weathersfield, and I won mine just 60 years later, just across town at TPC River Highlands. Winning a PGA Tour tournament, that's what it's all about, just to show all the hard work and know that you can do something. And the late nights working or the early mornings hitting balls before school, that's what, to me, is all about, is the hard work.